Have you ever wondered how these NFTs look like they're 3D? In this video, I'll show you step by step an easy way how you can make some dope 3D NFTs yourself. So check it out. Hi, my name is Alex. And a few weeks ago, I made a video where I showed a super easy step by step way to make an NFT collection. This video kind of blew up and I got a ton of questions in the comments under the video for different programs or apps or even ways to make NFTs. One of the questions I got a lot and really sparked my interest was this one. How are 3D NFTs made? Since I didn't really know what 3D NFTs looked like, I went on OpenSea and looked around. A few NFTs I've looked at were probably made with a program called Blender. It's an incredible tool to generate realistic looking scenes and characters. Especially if you plan on making money in the metaverse with NFTs, this program should be your new best friend. You know what makes you be my best friend? If you hit the like button on this video for the YouTube algorithm to help me and my channel out. <laughs> Thank you. So the problem is that I've never really used Blender myself, so I can't teach you how to make art in there. But there are also other ways to make your 2D images look 3D with just a few simple steps in Photoshop or Illustrator. Now that there are countless new NFT projects every single day, your NFT project definitely has to be something special or something different. So you either have to come up with a great value for holding your NFTs or you have to create something people actually love to look at and are willing to spend the money on your art. I've been getting more and more back into chess the last couple of weeks, so why not make a little 3D pawn an Illustrator and turn it into an NFT? Let's jump into Illustrator and let me show you how it's done so you can create the next big project. <laughs> okay, let's start. Okay, without wasting your time any longer, just jump into Adobe Illustrator. Open up a new square layer and now throw in your drawing or graphic or whatever you want to turn into a 3D image. Now make a little bit larger and put it in the center. Select the pen tool and carefully trace the outline of your image. Take your time with this because the better your outline is, the better your 3D image will be. If you follow this tutorial, it would be the best if your image also is a symmetrical image, which means you only have to trace half of the image and when you later fill it up in just a second, you will get the full model. After you're done, just delete the image and you're left with your pen trace. Go to the 3D window, select your pen trace and click on Revolve. Illustrator will now render your finished 3D image. <laughs> yeah, it's really that simple. But we're not quite done yet. Play with the sliders to find a nice angle of your model. Then go over to Material to select the nice material you like. You can choose from a whole lot of different materials, but to stay with the white chess color scheme for now, I'll just choose Marble. Now play a little bit with the material settings until you like the look of it and go over to Lighting. Here you'll really give your image a 3D look by shaping the light around it. I like a more dramatic look with the light high up and the surrounding light intensity very low. But just play around with those levels for a while until you're happy. Now you have your pawn. For the last step, copy your pawn by hitting Command C or Control C and open up a new Photoshop square layer. Here you simply place your pawn with Command V or Control V and make sure to click Smart Layer. Now just position it in the middle, put a nice background behind it, match the lighting or just keep it simple with a solid color. <laughs> Here you can let loose of all your artistic talent and make something amazing. All right. Now that you have your 3D artwork, the next step is to turn it into a whole collection. To learn how that works, simply check out this video right here where I explain it to you step by step how you have to structure your file and how to create a large collection with just a few clicks. If you like the video, make sure to subscribe to have the chance to win one Ethereum as soon as we hit 10,000 subs on this channel. We're almost halfway there. Also, check out the first link in the description to get $10 in Bitcoin from Coinbase for free. My name is Alex. Thank you so much for watching. Stay smart, stay safe, and I'll see you next Wednesday.